Hey everyone, Hafiz Yuan here, and today, before I start with this video, I would like to point out some things and uh, bring an update to the tournament and how I'm going to be recording. So in the previous video, I said I'm going to be doing this by rounds, but being that the tournament is basically non-elimination style and everyone's just gathering points, basically, and whoever has the most points of wins, basically wins the tournament, um, scores high, um, I... It's, uh, I decided just to do the best gameplays, but everyone's included, obviously, like I said, but I'm not going to do be doing it by rounds. I'm just going to be doing it by days of recording. And in total, it's probably just going to be five or six videos, not 15 videos, like I said previously. It's good for all of us, so we don't have to watch 15 videos of all the footage, because I don't think anyone will watch all 15 videos. And it's going to be nice and short, and it's going to showcase the best gameplay from the best players, and in the same time, include everyone... In the recordings and include those anticipating matches that everyone wants to see so that's all for the update i'm gonna and i'm gonna pre like in the previous video i had it named round one tournament it's now named day one and then this video is day two basically so it's gonna be by days not by rounds so that's the only update i wanted to uh tell you guys so let's get into day two of the recordings All right, first game is going to be Logix against Fail Quail. Logix is playing Hera, Fail Quail is playing Boba. So let's see how this one goes. All right, so Logix is playing a typical build of Hera, and Fail is playing a typical build of Boba with MTV, which is interesting. Um, so let's see how this goes. So stuff is being dropped right now. Fail Quail is cycling through the TIE Fighter. Maybe he had a bad hand to start off with. So Logic starting off with a big push. He started off with a tank, with Chopper, and he's trying to go all in here. So Fail is just defending on his side with the MTV and everything, and the Sentry Droid and everything like that. Um, so far, it looks like Logic's went in too hard on this push. He just went all in. Um, it did not work out. So now Fail has a counter push, but Logix has turret up for defense and should be cleared out pretty easily. And the game right now is at a standstill. No one to damage to anyone's towers. And uh, yeah. So looking at both sides there, both players are trying to get energy up to 10 and trying to start a push fail cycle through a stun which i think is wasted so we're going to speed up here uh fail tried to do a, his own push but failed but now uh logic's countered that but still failed failed defending that although the tank uh, logic's tank got some damage off now logic is trying to do something here so he put a turret down to defend against fail Fail is dead. Now he's going in. That's a perfect opportunity. And that almost took out the tower. Like more than 3 fourth health. So not looking good for Fail so far. Fail just needs to defend pretty well. And try to do a good counter push. So Logis has a huge counter push. But it gets melted unfortunately. And Logis just takes it out the game with AoEs basically. So... Logix takes point for this game. So let's go into the next game. Alright, so Fail is playing Hera and Logix is playing Kalos. So I've noticed that Logix is always playing Kalos on Empire, which is very, very interesting. So players need to learn how to take care of his Kalos. Because he's doing pretty well in the tournament so far. Alright, so Fail is playing a tank version of Hera. Logic's playing an AT aggro version of Kalos. So let's see. This is going to be very interesting of how it goes. So Fail started off with Partisan in the back and a tank. So he noticed that uh, Logix dropped a 18 in the back. So he's trying to go in aggressive. But Logix defended that very well despite uh, being low on energy. Um, yeah, now Logix has to worry about that AT incoming. But he has Chopper, so I think he'll take care of it pretty, pretty fast. Alright, so he does. He drops Chopper, but Cho but Logix comes in here, distracts Chopper, and the Chopper doesn't even shut down the AT, and the AT does 
of damage to that tower. Devastating. Uh, Fail made a mistake of not running the turrets, um, which is interesting. So now he's going again in with AT, AT because he knows uh, Fail doesn't have anything to defend with, and he just goes in aggressive and takes this tower like nobody's business. So Fail's having a really hard time to defend. Um, it's not looking good for him at all so far. I feel like his build is really not ideal against uh, Logic. He, he definitely needs a turret in his deck against his Echo. So Fail is trying to do some desperate pushes here, not working out for him. Uh, Logic drops another AT on the bottom. That's a third AT, man. And he j he knows he isn't not running a turret. He, he's just gonna drop ATs for free, and he's just gonna do three damage. And Fail is really at a bad disadvantage. Two towers down. Fail didn't even take a tower. Possibly might take the tower, but does not. Only does half damage. Uh, and he's just frantically trying to take out one tower, but it's too late and failed. I mean, not fail. Uh, Logix takes the second game and the second point for this uh, match. So, good games, bug both of them. And uh, let's move on to a next set of match. Alright, this game is against Point and Dicey. They're both from Alliance. Um, so, this is going to be very interesting. So Point is playing Bodhi, Dicey's playing Thrawn, so this is going to be very interesting of how everything goes. So Point's playing a typical, you know, helmet build of Bodhi, Dicey's playing an aggro build of Thrawn. Both are building up energy. So first mistake I see, Point is sitting on energy, he should have dropped something right away, but that's okay. It was only like a couple of seconds. Uh, the both players are cycling cards. Nothing too special right now. So, point dropped a JNK on the top. And uh, Dicey dropped a Dewback, Sand Trooper, and he's trying to go in here aggressive. So, for point, what he needs to do to win with Bodhi, especially, he needs to wait for Thrawn to come to him, do a massive counter push, have your counter push survive, and go for it. That's the only way. The only effective way Bodhi is played. So he has a full tank on Dicey's tower. Unfortunately, uh, Dicey's just selling wars. Just like, almost have damage to his tower though. So that was a little bit rough on his part. But his tank did have damage to, his bo to Dicey's bottom tower. So they're almost... Dice I mean, uh, Point has some of what of a lead. Actually, he did 3 fourth damage, not a half. And Dicey's going in here trying to do something here. Stuns Bodhi, possibly taking him out, but now stun ran out in the nick of time. Lucky for points. So Dicey failed here. Unfortunately, didn't do much. Um, that stun would have been critical to take out Bodhi, but Bodhi like ran away just in time. And stun was nerfed too recently. So, but I don't think that would have played a difference. Anyways, so. Interestingly enough, Point decides to go aggressive uh, tank on the bottom, which is uh, very weird for Bodhi. Um, but Dicey takes care of that pretty quickly. That wasn't really a problem for him at all. So Dicey's just waiting for a big play. He's saving up energy. He's trying to build up a push and cycle through cards. So again, Point is trying to go in here aggressively, trying to take out Dicey. So we're going to speed up here a little bit. Uh, point d um, does take out Dicey, but Dicey has a small push going on here, barely defended by Point, and uh, Point again sends a GNK G and on aggressive, and we're going to overtime. Let's see how this game goes. It's pretty close so far. Point might take this as the as Dicey's tower is the only one fourth health, but Dicey has a huge push in coming here, but it gets melted by the U-Wing, but Point dies unfortunately, Dicey dies unfortunately, and will that GNK get there? And the GNK actually won Point this first game, so Point gets one point <laughs> for this game. Very well played, the GNK saved him on this game. So let's go into their next game. Alright, so Dicey's playing Hera on this one, and Point decided to play OG Vader, which is a which is a very popular choice because Point always plays OG Vader and Empire. OG Vader is pretty fun. So let's go and see how this goes. Alright, so both players are starting off hands. Dicey's playing a typical turret. 
you know, uh, Hera, and then opponent's playing a typical OG Vader, so that was pretty good. AoE by Dicey to take out that Sand Trooper. Again, nothing too special here. The both players just starting out, trying to build up their pushes. Dicey is waiting for her point to come to him. And that's what he does exactly. Point comes to him. He brings in the do bag, the MTV. Afro goes in the back. Dicey drives the chopper. And we are in business here. So unfortunately for point, his push gets melted, but he's still alive. Will he die here? Just in the nick of time. Vader ran off just in the nick of time, but he has a well, Dicey has a Wookiee on the tower, and he's really doing damage, and one Rebel Trooper, and it's not looking good for Point right now, as his push got countered pretty hard. Not pretty hard, but still got countered, but yeah. Point needs to uh, do something in the back, like put Do back in the back, and then put MTV up front, and then do some damage, and have energy built up to drop other units and stuff like that, um, in order to be effective against Hera. Especially this variant of Hera, it's just helmet Hera version. All right, that's what that's what he does. He puts Do back in the back. He's building up his energy, and he's starting his push. He decides to split here because he saw that Dicey was distracted. Actually does a very decent amount of damage. But unfortunately, Dicey managed to counter that. And that brings uh, Point's Tower down. Um, so with less than 3 seconds left, Point needs to make another attempt to push in order to take that top tower. But Dicey is pretty much going to defend this. Point decides to go on the bottom for some last second pushes, but it doesn't work out for him, and unfortunately, Dicey takes this one for him. So, very good games played, both of them. Very commendable games. And let's move on to the last match of this recording. Alright, so we're playing... So, we have Alicia Destiny versus Jordonius. Jordonius is also from Alliance, and I'm sure everyone knows Alicia is from Sentence. So let's see how this goes. It's gonna be pretty interesting. So Alicia is playing Jin. She played it previously, also typical again, a typical Jin with the Rocket Girl, just ping out tower, and then Jordonius is playing a typical Boba Aggro AT. So let's see, and he's playing a sniper. Do very interesting. A uh, very interesting placement of that turret there. Very odd placement by uh, Alicia. But let's see how it goes. So she she goes in aggressively, puts Rocket Girl, gets one shot off. Uh, and now Jordonius has counter not that big of a counter I mean they're almost even and of course uh, Alicia started pinging the tower and she's really good so much she just needs to put a rocket down and ping the tower she's probably gonna take this tower his bottom tower anyway so here goes uh, Jordonius with a big push AT a do back one of the powerfulest pushes for Empire fortunately he dies himself but he manages to get AT to do at least two da uh, two times the damage, um, and of course Alicia is still pinging tower. I'm not sure why Jordonius dropped to slave one. Maybe he was trying to cycle cards, but that was a waste of the slave one. So again, Jordonius starting up with a push. AT's dropped in the back, and Alicia has to defend here. So an accurate placement of the turret because the first one she managed to not drop it, but. She died, and the T is bringing havoc on the tower, and almost takes out her tower. So, Jordonis stunned the Rock Girl, so he doesn't do damage. He honestly has to probably save the stun for that, so... Alicia does not want to lose her tower, uh, because she plays that turret, but she managed to snipe off his bottom tower, and very cheesy win, but she got this first point for this match. So, let's move on to their next gameplay. All right, so Jordonius is playing Hera. Everyone's playing Hera on Rebels. I don't know why. <laughs> well, I know why. She's hella good. But um, Alicia's playing her typical Krennic deck um, with turrets and small units and stuff like Rocket Trooper. Very interesting. And uh, Jordonius playing a GNK version with the Wookiee of Hera. Very interesting choice. So let's see how it goes. All right, so. 
Alicia's just going here aggressively. She needs used to, she actually almost takes out Hera, which is very interesting. You could have taken out Hera. I don't know why she just backed off. But very interesting aggressive push by her indeed. So G and K is gonna be coming. That turret is gonna be a savior against G and K's. And now she dropped a rocket trooper and it did four, one four damage just for three energy. It's pretty insane. Her deck is basically getting in your face type of deck, and that's what she does. And she's just going in. Bottom tower is down just like that. Very interesting. Um, Jordonius is having a hard time defending against her aggressive pushes. Uh, he's trying to do a counter attack of some sort, which he does, but unfortunately for him, uh, she drops a sand trooper on the bottom and took care of his counter push. So now, Alicia's pretty looking good pretty well. Um, on her side, Jordonius needs to take a tower to even this game out, but Alicia is already half done with this top tower, so it's really not looking for Jordonius for this one. Um, and as Jordonius died, she took care of the second tower, and she's already focusing on the third, and the third tower is about done. But it doesn't matter, the game's over, and Alicia takes two points from this match. So, very interesting games. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Recording for day two and day three will be coming up in a few days, maybe tomorrow or something like that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.